Welcome, friends. I'm so glad to be with you all here today because Sundays are my favorite day of the week. Do you know why? Well, that's because God loves us so much that he sent us Jesus. It's true. We can always trust God because Jesus is our best friend forever. Tell me, guys, who can trust God? Yes, you can. Now let's get on your feet and sing about God's son, Jesus, our best friend forever. A one, two. I need you to sing along with all you got. Here we go. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I can change the world because Jesus loves me. Sing it again. I can love my neighbor because Jesus loves me. I love that song. Jesus is the best. God sent us Jesus because he loves us. What a big reason to trust God. In fact, the Bible teaches us that I can trust God and I'm not afraid. That's out of Psalms 56 11. Let's do it one more time all together, guys. I can trust God and I am not afraid. Out of Psalms 56 11. Great job. You can trust God. Who can trust God? I can trust God! Well, it's time for a true story from the Bible. Ollie and her friends are at the clubhouse and are ready. Let's go do this together. Ooh. Ooh. You know what time it is? Time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and I'm Lucy, and my grandma gave us this music player for the clubhouse. Melody? Good morning. 
Can you please play us some marching music? Playing marching music? How cool is that? I love marching music, so I bought these rhythm sticks to keep time. Can you use your hands and clap along with me? Hands up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's great. Now let's go slow. One, two, three, four. Now let's go super fast. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Woof, you guys did great. You can put your hands down now. It's marching music is so much fun. Sometimes I imagine what it would be like to lead a real marching band. Wow, how amazing would that be? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Marching around in time, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I love marching music so much. Marching is lots of fun. Who? Who? So I've got a marching story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. And look what I've got today. It's a ram's horn. It's like a trumpet for our story. And boy, is it a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha! Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Joshua. Now, Joshua was the leader of God's army. One day, God told Joshua, that he was going to take the city of Jericho. Except, look, the city of Jericho had a huge wall that went all the way around it. It was big, it was strong, and the city was very hard to get into. I don't understand. How can Joshua and his army take the city if there's a huge wall around it? But Joshua trusted that God's plan would work. God told Joshua to take horns like this and march around the big wall blowing trumpets one time a day for six days. What? Blow trumpets and march? <laughs> Joshua didn't understand how God's plan would work, but Joshua trusted God anyway. <laughs> So, Joshua gathered his army and got ready to march around the big wall. Everyone, stand up. Now, get ready to march in place and blow your pretend trumpets. Ready, go. March, 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 march. They march on day one. They march on day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. And then stop. That was awesome marching. You can sit down now. Great job. <laughs> On day seven, God said, I want you to march around the wall seven times. Then when Joshua says go, give a loud shout. Okay, but not until Joshua says go. So Joshua still didn't understand. How would shouting and trumpets break down a wall? But 
Joshua trusted God. So they started marching around the city. Ooh, can you count with me? They marched around the city. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Joshua said, go. Everybody shout. And the wall came down. They won. Great job, everyone. Woohoo! Wow. God is amazing. Sometimes we may not understand how God's plan will work, but we can trust God. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Joshua trusted God's plan, so he went for a long march. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow. Joshua trusted God's plan and marched around the walls, and they fell down. I can trust God's plan, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Maybe God has a plan for me to lead a marching band sometime. I better keep practicing. Melody, play another march, please. Playing marching music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. As we learn from the Bible, sometimes we might not understand God's plan will work, but we can always trust God. That's why when I ask, who can trust God? I want us all to shout, I can trust God. Get ready? All right, who can trust God? Louder, can we do it one more time? Who can trust God? I can trust God! Exactly, guys. We can always trust God no matter what we need. Even though we might not understand what's happening, we can always trust Him. Let's close our eyes and pray to God together. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us your son, Jesus. And just as the story showed, we are so happy to always be able to trust you, no matter what, even if we're sad, happy, or excited. We can always trust you, God. Thank you for your son, Jesus. We love you. Amen. Awesome, guys. I'll see you next week. My name is Emily and welcome to Branch's Kids Sunday Service. Today I'm making a mixtape. 
like this one. In the olden times, people used to take a stereo like this and make playlists for their friends, kind of like you do on Spotify or something like that. And if you were lucky enough to have a two cassette player, then you could take the recorded music from one and put it on a mixtape for the other. And you could make a whole mixtape for your friend full of funny songs or dancey songs or songs that give you confidence, like we're talking about all this month long. And remember, confidence is learning to see yourself the way that God sees you. There are lots of things that can make us feel confident, right? But do you know where your true confidence comes from? Well, let's read our monthly memory verse together to find out. It says, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 2713. And when you know how much God loves you, you can take on anything life throws your way. And that's what gives you the confidence to be your true self. And you guys might think that this mixtape is a lot of work for nothing, but I'm feeling very confident about this mixtape. And plus, if you lift the stereo, you can get an extra arm workout. <laughs> well, now that I'm warmed up, let's stand up and do our worship song together. And then we're going to watch a story from the Bible about how sometimes plans don't work out the way you want them to, but sometimes there's a bigger, better plan. Let's go. The Bible 
It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Joshua, chapters 5 and 6. For 40 years, God's people wandered the desert. At last, they reached the land that God had promised them. Joshua led them to the edge of the rushing Jordan River. The priests will carry the Ark of the Lord. The Ark was a beautiful chest that reminded the Israelites that God was with them. As soon as the priests step into the Jordan, it will stop flowing. Sure enough, as soon as the foot of the first priest touched the edge of the river, the waters parted. God's people crossed on dry land, just as God had led them through the Red Sea 40 years before. God did this so that all the nations on earth would know that he is powerful. Soon after, the Amorites and Canaanites living in the land had heard what God had done. Fearful, they retreated back to their towns, including the high-walled city of Jericho. Oh, great. Like, how do we fight them now? God will show us the way. That evening, Joshua left camp and snuck toward Jericho. The walls loomed impossibly strong. So tall. As he turned, Joshua saw a man standing nearby holding a sword. Who are you? Uh, uh, are you on our side or the side of our enemies? I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. Joshua knelt down, face to the ground. What message does my Lord have for me? Take off your sandals. The place you are on is holy ground. Joshua tugged off his shoes. I have handed Jericho over to you. Joshua listened carefully as the Lord delivered a message, a battle plan unlike any other. Wow. Uh, okay, uh, we'll do it, Lord. Joshua called for the priests. Get the Ark of the Covenant, and I need seven of you to march in front of the Ark with trumpets. Sorry, just warming up. <laughs> Joshua gathered the army too. Time to move out. Like, do we get to attack now? March around the city. Just, like, go in circles? Some of you march ahead of the Ark of the Lord, and the rest of you march behind. Can we at least shout and stuff? Hey, Jericho, you guys smell like cheese! Don't give a war cry or raise your voices until the day I tell you to shout. But the priests must blow their trumpets. Forward! March! The entire army, including the priests, marched one time around Jericho, just as the Lord had instructed Joshua. Now can we get them? Back to camp, men. We march again tomorrow. The next morning, the Israelites marched around the city once again. And then on day three, once again on day four, not to mention day five, and once again on day six. We march again at sunrise. Uh, I have blisters. At dawn on the seventh day, the army and priests formed their strange parade once more. But this time, once they finished marching around the city one time, Joshua called out. Keep marching. Again? My feet are killing me. The Lord has told me we must march around the city seven times today. On the seventh time around, the priests blew a long blast on their trumpets. Now shout! The Lord has given you the city! Oh, the oh, yes. oh, geez. As the shouts of the Israelites rang out in the clear morning air, something incredible happened. The massive walls of Jericho began to tremble. The gates shivered and quaked. Jagged cracks ran through the heavy stones. Rocks began to tumble from the tops of the walls. Little rocks, large stones, giant boulders, until at last, the walls collapsed, crashing in on themselves. The ground quaked, and plumes of dust burst into the air. As the air cleared, the Israelites stared in amazement. The city of Jericho stood wide open. Take the city! With nothing standing in their way, the Israelites charged right in. That day, they completely defeated the city of Jericho. God was with Joshua, and he became well-known everywhere in the land. When God
God told Joshua to take over the city of Jericho, Joshua probably thought of a battle plan, like a big battle plan. And it probably didn't include marching around the city wall for a week blowing trumpets. But Joshua followed the plans that God had for him and the Israelites took the city, right? He had the confidence that God's plans were bigger and better. And guys, that wasn't the only time in the Bible that God proved that his plan was bigger and better. When Jesus died on the cross, the disciples must have thought, what is God thinking? But when he rose again on the third day and came back to life, it all made sense. God's plan is always better. And guys, sometimes you can't see exactly how things will turn out. You might be moving soon to a new house or a new state, or maybe you're wondering if you'll see all your school friends at all this summer. We can have confidence in God. You can trust that his plan is always best no matter what. So what you need to remember today is that God's plan is the best plan. Let's say that together. God's plan is the best plan. And that's true, guys. My plan to make a mixtape for my friend who doesn't even have a Walkman like I do, you guys don't know what that is, it's not the best plan, but God has got you. And his plans are the best plans. Let's talk to God and thank him for his good plans that he has for us. Dear God, Help us to trust you and help us to trust that even when we can't see you or even if your plan sounds kind of crazy, that you're always with us and that your plans are always best. Be with us this week and help us to see your plan. Amen. All right, guys. Well, I have a lot of uh, work to do on this mixtape, so I'm going to go, but I will see you next Sunday. Bye. Have a good week. Yeah,